Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to solve this NAS quadratic problem. The equation we have root of 6 minus root of 36. So let's get started the solution. In the first step, I will going to split this 36. Root of 6 minus root of 5 times 7 give us 36. Let's, here, I will going to apply the radical rule that is n root of a times b can be written as n root of a times n root of b. So I will going to write this in this form. Root of 6 minus root of 5 times root of 7. The next step I will going to add here 2 times 6 minus root of 5 times root of 7 over 2. So, if I'm going to cancel out this, I will get the same above equation. Now, I'm going to multiply this to with this whole bracket. So, it will turn to 2 times 6 give us 12 minus 2 root of 5 times root of 7 and over 2. Next step, I'm going to split this 12. 5 plus 7 minus 2 root of 5 times root of 7 over 2. Now next I will going to express this 5 and 7 in this form. Root of 5, root of 5 and whole to the power of 2. If I am going to cancel out this, I will get the same above value 5 plus root of 7 and whole to the power of 2 minus 2 root of 5 times root of 7 over 2. The next step here I'm going to apply the algebraic identity that is a square plus b square minus 2ab is equals to a minus b whole to the power of 2. So this is our a value and b value. So this equation turns to of root of 5 minus root of 7 whole to the power of 2 over 2. So I'm going to apply here the radical rule that is root of a over b can be written as root of a over root of b. So that equation turns to root of root of 5 minus root of 7 and whole to the power of 2 over root of 2. For this square and this will get cancelled. So then according to absolute property, I can write this root of x and whole to the power of 2 in this form. So according to this rule, I will going to write this root of 5 minus root of 7 in this absolute form over root of 2. We have absolute value of x is positive if x is greater than or equal to 0 and if we have x value is negative if x is less than 0. So according to this rule, I'm going to solve it out this expression further. So if I'm going to solve it out root of 5 minus root of 7, I will get the value that is less than 0. So according to this value of this root of 5 minus root of 7, I will going to take this root of 5 minus root of 7 as negative. So I am going to express here negative root of 5 minus root of 7 over root of 2. And this will turn to negative root of 5, positive root of 7 over root of 2. Now I am going to express this expression in this form root of 7 minus root of 5 over root of 2. Next step, I will going to rationalize the denominator. Root of 7 minus root of 5 over root of 2. 
Now here we're going to rationalize this denominator. So we're going to multiply this root of two and divide this root of two. So the next question we'll get here that is root of seven times root of two minus root of five times root of two over root of two and whole to the power of two to the radical property and root of a times b can be written as n root of a times n root of b. So here this is written in this form. I'm going to change in this form. 7 times 2 minus root of 5 times 2 over this and this get cancelled. Only 2 is remaining. And here this will turn to root of 14 minus root of 10 over 2. So this is our final answer. Now, thank you so very much for watching my video. If you like my video, please do hit the like button and please support my channel by subscribing it.